What an exciting game we yeah. just saw in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The New York Jets and the Pittsburgh Steelers going at it. Rex Ryan after knocking Ready. out the New England Patriots, trying to make it three Super Bowl winning quarterbacks bagged in a row. LaDainian Tomlinson trying to take Santonio Holmes and the Jets back to the Super Bowl for the first time in 42 years. We asked for this a long time ago. We just got to do men or play like the Jets. Yes, LT has never played in a Super Bowl. Four quarters away, but the Steelers came out on fire in this game, even though uh, early on uh, Ben Roethlisberger can't complete it. Emmanuel Sanders. We did see a lot of Ed Hockley early on. That's five yards on uh, Cromartie. Antonio Cromartie right there. People right? today. Three Set plays later, home. fifth play of the drive. Ben Roethlisberger to Mike Wallace. Move the chains on third down. Just gets it up the first down. Move the chains. There are the chains that are moved. Generous spot. Seven plays later, 12th play of the drive. Roethlisberger doing what he does. Look at him. That, that will be the theme. I like that, Rich. And he knew where that yellow line was on the field. 12-yard gain on third and 12. Move the chains. And then Roethlisberger to Hines Ward. Doing what he does. What he does. I like that. Play with that, Rick. Move the chains down to the one yard line. Pump fakeage all over the place. Marquis Pouncey, however, their Pro Bowl rookie oh. all world center oh. did not oh. emerge from this play healthy. As you saw, Brian Thomas of the Jets rolled up on his leg. He would leave the game and leave the field on crutches. However, back on the field, oh, Richard Mendenhall and the running game came out and hit the Jets in the ground and pound. Nine minute drive to start the game. 15 plays, 7 0. Steelers, the Jets go three and out. Roethlisberger's pass intended for Emmanuel Sanders is incomplete, but Eric Smith is called for hitting a defenseless receiver. I don't Michael, agree with this one. Michael, you're Yeah, fine. it was right here. Oh. And he, he pulled up off of the hit. It wasn't a run through. So tried tack to on, avoid it. Tack on 15 yards. Four plays later, Roethlisberger's pass on fourth and one. They went for it. It's a freezing night in Pittsburgh. It was a 50 plus yard field goal, which is tough in Hinesfield in any conditions. So it's picked off by Brian he Thomas. Rushed them. He rushed them. And that's the way the Steelers turn it over. But the offense of the Jets could not get anything going early on. But Richard Mendenhall put 35 yard gain. This looks like the old Steelers where they're going to pound you down and run the football and control it on the clock. Isaac Redmond that gets in on the act two plays later. However, the Jets defense would stiffen from here on out, hold the Steelers to just a field goal. It's 10 0. Now we show you a Jets offensive play midway through the six, uh, six minute mark of the second quarter. It's an incomplete pass. Jericho Cotchery can't grab the deflected ball. Fourth punt of the game for the Jets already, while Roethlisberger was cruising. Finds his security blanket. Doing what he does. Find himself more time in the pocket and finding his tight end downfield. So good at that. He sidesteps pressure. He extends a plan. If he extends it to the right. Eyes downfield. Keep your eyes downfield, big fella. Nice throw. The Jets tried to keep him going left, but couldn't keep him from going right there. Bart Scott and Antonio Cromartie, the rest of the Jets defense, left muttering themselves as Roethlisberger now throws left to Emmanuel Sanders. Two plays after the Miller. First down touch. SMU! Two plays later, Roethlisberger throws short to Mendenhall across the other side of the field. He slips, otherwise he might have gotten in the end zone down to the two. Next play. Marty didn't in. want that. Thank you, Lord. Marty. Roethlisberger does <laughs> what he does. <laughs> Good coverage. There's nobody open. So Big Ben takes it himself. The Steelers score the first 17 the points of the game. Man. Ryan Thomas and the Jets left with their hands on their hips. Rex Ryan and the Jets were hit directly in the mouth. Less than two minutes to go in the half. Even more disaster. Sanchez goes down. He sacked William Gay. Uh, Mm. Part of Lamar Woodley gets him, and then two plays later, Ike Taylor hits him oh. as he throws. William Gay picks the ball up. The ball is loose. There Look is the no whistle. Blocking. Look at the downfield blocking. And you can see Ed Hockley Wood, a touchdown. It's in the last two minutes of the half as Sanchez is coming up holding his non throwing elbow. He's the boot buzzes there. down, and it's an empty hand. This is a correct call. It does yeah. look like his yeah. arm's coming forward, but there's an empty hand. That's yeah. a fumble. And therefore, six more points for the Steelers, 24 nothing. Wow. That's the way the AFC Championship game started. However, the Jets got the ball back, got three points on the board before the end of the first half, and got the ball to start the second half, and came out like Rex Ryan peeled some paint off the doors in the locker room. There's Sean Green with a 23-yard gain on the first play of the second half.
Where he Sean would Green be dinged up. Hard. He would return. Three plays later, third and short. Santonio Holmes, his first catch of the game, a 16-yard pass play. And then the next play, Mark Sanchez with the fresh set of downs provided by Santonio. He makes a play, as does Holmes, down the field, 45-yard touchdown. Jets make it a 24-10 game. Watch the corner, Mike. He falls down. He puts his hand up, and he, this is an improvise between a veteran receiver and a young quarterback. Well done. Ensuing Steelers possession. Can the Jets get him three and out? They can, even though Chris Wilson almost picked off Roethlisberger. The ball goes right off the rookie's grill. I think that is crucial because why are we showing the punt? It's usually... A return or a boo-boo, and as you can see, well, it is neither boo -boo. except that boo-boo oh. right there. Jamal Westerman is called for roughing Jeremy Kapanos, the punter, and that's essentially a turnover. If you yeah, didn't know Jamal before the game, you know him now. And it's not and it's not running in the game. It's roughing, it's 15 yards. That's the big one. So that puts the ball back in the Steelers' hands, right at midfield. Now they're on the plus side of the field. Ben... Roethlisberger extending the play, but he goes to his left, which usually is the way you want him to go. News. And you can see what happens there. He throws it, a pick by Broadley Poole, so the Jets don't get burned. They just lose some field position and lose some time off the clock with that roughing the kicker. What do the Jets do with this opportunity? Braylon Edwards plants one foot out of bounds on third down, so the Jets can't move the ball. They're still down 24-10, less than... 90 ticks to go in the third quarter when Trevor Price bags him some Ben Roethlisberger. Steelers now forced to punt. Ensuing Jets possession, needing some points. Can they get it right before the end of the third quarter? They do get a first down at least. Nice Braylon play. Edwards, 18-yard gain to the 37-yard line. Two plays later, we are in the fourth quarter. And we see Mark Sanchez looking for his binky. That would be his tight end, Dustin Keller. Nice play on the nice sideline. Nice up and over the top of the linebacker to the sidelines. Well done by Mark Sanchez. Three plays later, third and short. Sanchez goes for his tight end again. This one over the middle. Keller moved the chain. Three plays later. He's a tough matchup. Ninth play of the drive. Sean Green on third and three is stopped Woo! just shy. Oh, that was a hit right there, uh, man. A collision between two guys with the wheel to win. Well, it was sort of helmet to helmet there, but it wasn't called. Fourth and one. What do they do? They give it to Sean Green over the right Bang! side, and he picks it up. Some power back. Now, this guy reminds me of the other guy, Mendenhall. Two plays later. Twelfth play of the drive. Second and 18 after a fumbled snap. Sean Green takes most of it right back as he trucks Ryan Clark for a 16-yard gain, first down at the 8-yard line. Next play, not first down, it's third and two. Now it's oh. a first down. Mark Sanchez to Jericho Cotri taken down Great at the play two. Call. Three plays later, 16th play of the drive, third and one. Sanchez almost oh. picked by Lamar Woodley. But as you can see, there's less than eight minutes to go now in the fourth quarter, and the Jets still haven't scored a point. They're still down by two touchdowns. And fourth and one, LT is stopped. Stops. The Jets take eight minutes off the clock and score zero points. Turnover on downs. Let's hit the way back machine. Why do we show this to you? Because the last time the Steelers were in this end zone against the Jets, it was in week 15, and Jason Taylor came up with the safety. Huge we showed you Marquise Pounces out of this game, their Pro Bowl young center. Here's a miss snap. Mishandled snap right there. That's what you worry about with a new center in the game. By, it's a safety. By Ben Roethlisberger, that is two more points for the New York Jets. The oh. ball never came up. It's clearly the center's fault. We'll get another shot here. So, the Jets now 24 to 12. What do they do with 7.30 to go? Sanchez avoids the Woodley's rush, and he finds Braylon Edwards, who does get both feet down. Now with seven and a half minutes to go, it's third and one. Less than six minutes to go. Sanchez trips, handing the ball off to LT, who trips over his quarterback. It's now fourth and short again. Jets going to the air. First down, Braylon nice Edwards. Nice call. Nice location. Threw it on the body, Mike. Not out in front. Perfect location with Braylon But Edwards. they still need two scores, even with the safety. Four minutes to go. Here's Dustin Keller first down, but the clock is moving. Less than four minutes to go now for the Jets, needing two touchdowns to get the lead. Second and goal, three minutes to go. Here's Jericho Cotter in the end zone. It's a pick play. He's wide open. 24 to 19 as the Jets go for one and kick the ball off, needing to get the ball back. They had all three timeouts left. Second down, Roethlisberger rolls to his right, extends the play, he does. finds Heath Miller to move the chains. The Jets have a two-minute warning and two timeouts left, so they cannot afford to give up yet 
Uh, one more first down. Roethlisberger on third and six. Here's essentially the game. He extends the play to his right and on the run finds the receiver. The Steelers drafted to make up for the trade of Brown. Santonio Holmes. It's, it's Antonio kidding. Brown who provides the game-winning first oh. down. And Rex is dejected. Sanchez trying to rally the troops as Ben Roethlisberger, his season that started in such disastrous straits, winds up with a third Super Bowl trip of his career. 24 to 19 is the final score. The Steelers scored the first 24 points of this game. The Jets scored the final 19 points of this game. And not enough, even though it was a furious comeback for the six-seeded Jets who had so many late game victories. They just could not pull out another on the road in the AFC title game. So it's now 42 years and counting for the Jets since they've been back to the Super Bowl. And the Steelers go back to the Super Bowl two years after they won it to try to get a seventh 